Newington. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you come to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Anybody? Any ladies or gentlemen here? Not many. Uh, good. Right, well, thank you all for coming to the event of Caroline's 50th birthday. Why are you confused by that? Is that why we're here? <laughs> she, she looked to me like all confused. I am confused. Thanks for battling through the half-term traffic. Special thanks to Annie and Stefo Wefo for coming all the way from Germany. Okay, to start proceedings. Very common. What? Velkommen. Oh, Velkommen, not Velkommen. Oh, sorry, Velkommen. A poem. Go and sit in your camper van. Trying to be helpful. I, to be if you heckle me, I'll heckle you. Trying to be unilateral. Oh, God. <laughs> how very, how very 2021. Right. Title of the poem right. is This is 50. Right. No. Now that you are 50, some sage words of advice. Mm. This you? is... <laughs> Sage. Sage. This is collective worrying. wisdom, edited carefully, so it is nice. Oh, good. <laughs> now, Radio One has to go. Please don't take offence. But your 26 years past their target audience. <laughs> Why not try Radio Two or even Radio Four? You may get to hear about our Ha's farewell tour. <laughs> Martin, 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 what was his name? Martin, Martin, Martin. Martin. Well, Martin. Now, now's not the time for a list. <laughs> Some will say that at 50, your best years are long gone. But I'm here to say... It's 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> My son is speaking. No, I, I wrote these parts for her. Uh, but I'm here to say that those people are all wrong. I think 50 is the top of an intellectual summit, although most of your faculties will soon start to plummet. <laughs> You'll confidently enter a room, then forget why you were there. Getting washed down the plug hole are metres of grey hair. <laughs> Let... I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm really. falling out. Who invited her? Uh, let us not you get did. too maudlin. I timed this at five minutes, but it's going to go on for quarter of an hour if you keep interrupting. Let us not get too maudlin. You are doing just fine. But from here on, let's face it, it's just managed decline. Can you manage me? Well, at least you've got here how amazing you have done. Mathematically, it starts by being born in 71. Oh my God, that's shocking. What a long time ago. You've been alive all that while and never let yourself go. Is wisdom now yours or has your thinking got weak? Can you even concentrate when your knees loudly creak? Spare a thought for the sporty years. Oh, really, now you must. It was all that activity that turned your joints into dust. <laughs> Look back on those glory years. Go on, have a good time. Sat in your rowing boat during your physical prime. Those were the days you never missed a stroke. You pushed yourself so hard you started to look like a bloke. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> there were fun times in Limington. Those socials were a laugh. Someone always scooping your hair out of a bowlful of your bath. <laughs> bath or bath? Bath. Okay, the bath. Sick of it. Yeah, spew. Sick. I didn't use sick because it rhymed with... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Made of lean muscle, what zesty young things. Now it's all given way to those old bingo wings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> but this is the key to getting those things done. The time to hit it hard is definitely while you're young. Always working hard, never one to skive. A girl about town in her trusty Renault 5. <laughs> All the different jobs you tackled, nothing going to your head. Your homes are always ponging of freshly baked bread. <laughs> Whatever you have done, you've always done it well. If anything has been tricky, it's been impossible to tell. 
from sporting life to the telly so harsh. to the history of art conducting yourself with poise and only the cheeky bit of tart <laughs> it used to be travel to far-flung destinations but now the risks come in more familiar locations the hazards at 50 or a cough, sneeze or fart. <laughs> you could spring a leak or slip a disc, now everything's coming apart. <laughs> but don't worry about being 50, you'll do it just fine. You've just had a year's practice by being 49. You've made it look easy, like falling off a log. So how did you manage to find a cross-eyed dog? <laughs> oh, don't be nasty! 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 But the truth of the matter is no one gets to stay young. <laughs> that verse about not waiting in getting things done. Do your best to follow the example that is set by your mum. <laughs> really? I finish there. Yay. <laughs>